Okay, welcome. Hi, this is Stories and Teaching. I'm Rachel and we're going to be interviewing today Trish Perlin, who's a unit chair in the undergraduate law here at Deakin. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolute pleasure. Okay, so my first question for you is tell us a bit about your role as a lecturer in the, in the School of Law. So I primarily teach our first year students. As you mentioned, Rachel, I'm the unit chair for MLL 110, which is one of our largest first year units. I teach um, on campus at Burwood, I also teach our off-campus students and I'm really interested in the first year experience and I'm really passionate about teaching first year students. Awesome. What are some of the challenges you feel are most relevant for your students in the first year experience? I think one of the biggest issues in the first year experience as well as going out into practice is actually mental health. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of research done about mental health issues with law students but also with the legal profession. And really addressing that early on, I find it's an inclusive way of dealing with an issue that affects a lot of our students and a lot of our legal practitioners. Oh wow, that's really interesting. What made you go down that like that interest in your students? Like, did something happen or? No, there wasn't a particular instance. Um, I went to a first year in higher ed conference a couple of years ago, and a couple of academics out of the ANU were doing research, and what they actually found was that students that came into law school were less depressed than the general population coming into law school but actually left law school feeling more depressed so that was and also law lawyers are the second most depressed profession generally speaking i'm on a yearly basis in australia and i think those self-management skills are really important i think first year is a really scary time for a lot of students and as unit chair i do get a lot of anxious upset students coming into my office and I wanted to make it okay that students could talk to each other about it and that it's not just them. It's an issue that affects a lot of different types of students and a lot of different types of people. And I think removing the stigma is really important for our first year students. Oh, that's awesome. Um, okay, so my next question is, if with that in mind, what kind of assessments do you do for self-management to help them with that situation? Because I would assume that a lot of law students come in with really high expectations. They do. Um, we're really lucky. We have a really highly motivated, highly achieving group of A-type students and when you put them all in a room together, it can lead to different consequences. We don't have specific assessment around self-management skills, but it's scaffolded in such a way to allow students to manage their time. We have um, wonderful people come in from health services here at Deakin to come and address our first year students about things to look out for. You might be feeling fine now, but in two or three weeks time, if you're experiencing certain symptoms, that's come and talk to us. There's a great counselling service at Deakin. So we don't necessarily tie our assessment directly around self-management, but the way that it's scaffolded, it assists students in developing their self-management skills. Okay. And that now um, reminds me, I actually do remember reading something about this in a learning and teaching journal about law students and sometimes it's really hard for them with mental illness with teamwork and just the depression around that because they've got such high expectations do you find that happens I in, think, in some of the units I think with um, with teamwork there's some great things being done within the school and I think there's been a greater recognition in recent years that it's important to teach students the skills as well as the content I mean, I know how frustrating it is in my day-to-day -day life if someone asks me to do something that I've never done before. I'm not necessarily after the content knowledge, but I need some skills to help me do it. And I feel the same way for students. And I think that equipping students with skills actually can reduce some of the anxiety that's around assessment tasks. So um, we have two interim assessments in my unit and we work really closely with the library um, in, in creating them. Um, so we have a legal research module and that basically helps students develop legal research skills at their own pace. Mm -hmm. It's an open source module, they can come back to it throughout their degree when they go off into practice. But that's equipping students with the fundamental research skills, getting them to understand those skills. And then that skill gets re-examined in a legal essay. So it's not expecting students to just be able to produce a legal essay, not knowing where to get resources from. We're very careful in how we scaffold our assessment. They've got time to do the legal research module, which I just have to give a shout out. The library did a fantastic job in redesigning it for this year. Um, last year we had it within Cloud Deacon. It wasn't very pretty. It was really hard to navigate. And when I opened it up, I thought, I don't even want to look at this. So we worked really hard over 12 months in redesigning it. Helen Wood, Kim Fu and Dorothy Rooney did a wonderful job. It's now housed on the library website and students can go through it at their own pace. 
and I think that helps to reduce the anxiety. I don't think it takes it away altogether, but I think a lot of self-management techniques are about recognising that there's an issue and putting in um, methods to help deal with the sort of mental health issues that our students have. Yeah, Trish, I think that's a really good point, that you can't take away the anxiety, but you can help students manage that anxiety, can't you? Okay, I'm going to ask you one last question. Sure. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what would you recommend to others who would like to follow in your footsteps? I think with I think anything to do with teaching and learning and assessment, I think the biggest thing is to be organised. Um, I can appreciate that probably my 700 students might seem quite small to many of my colleagues teaching within the Bachelor of Commerce. Um, but I think what I found, my A-type personality shines through in terms of organisation and time, and time management. But I think design is just as important as content. What I would say we did this year, the content didn't actually change. We redesigned it to make it more meaningful for students and to help them understand what it is that we were wanting them to achieve by the end of an assessment task. So I would say don't reinvent the wheel, talk to people. I had Lisa Curran from um, Learning Innovations helping me restructure my off-campus site. Um, I had Zoshin DLF assisting me in rewriting my unit learning outcomes. Don't be afraid to talk to people outside your own discipline. I've talked to people, journalism, accounting, psychology, education. There really are some fantastic kids people here at Deakin um, and I would say to people if you want to do anything a little bit out of the box talk to what other people are doing don't reinvent the wheel and learn from their experiences I think that's great feedback thanks so much for joining us absolute pleasure cheers okay